Hey there, YouTubians. This is John. Welcome to the Golden Car Comics channel. I have got a... Well, this either is going to be uh, one video or two videos. We'll see how long it takes. But hey, uh, if you're watching today, happy Halloween, everybody. It is Halloween. I'm all excited. Uh, one of my family's favorite holidays. Uh, my son is dressing up as Spider-Man Noir. He looks really, really good. I want to give a shout out to Larry Higgins and his buddy, uh, Moncton Spidey. Hope I said that right. Um, they helped out with the costume, and then the rest of it was just all patience and money and and stress. But anyway, I'll try to get some pictures up of that later this evening when he's home, and I'll have my house all done up as well. We'll try to put a little special Halloween episode out here for you. All right, uh, start off with, I wanted to show uh, a nice little background here. This is one of my uh, latest uh, pickups from my LCS, The Loft. Uh, I figured, well, they had all these cool character comic boxes, short boxes, and I'm like, I've got a bunch of Harley Quinn comics. I might as well get one of these. I really like it. It's the same print. It's the same picture all the way around, pretty much. So, and it says Harley Quinn on top, but I really like it. And there you go. I want to give a quick shout out uh, right from the start for some new subscribers so that they don't have to wait to hear their names because I really appreciate them. Up over, we're up at 131 subscribers now. I really appreciate everybody. All you new subscribers, you are now subscribers. So if you're over 18, you can get in on the Golden Car Comics 100 plus subscriber uh, giveaway contest. I've got a video uh, out there. It's not hard to find. It's like about a month ago, maybe not even. Uh, contest is running until November 4th. At 11:59 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and uh, these one, two, three, four, five, six people are all now uh, eligible to enter if they want to enter. Starting with Sarge TD, Undisputed Frost, one of those awesome names that you hear around the comic book community. He is now a subscriber to Golden Car Comics. Comic Brains, that's a, that's a good comic Halloweeny type name. All right, Jacob Erickson, Rob Wiseguy82, and All About Comics. Thank you all for subscribing. It's always nice to see new subscribers popping on day in, day out. It's it's awesome. Uh, <clears throat> you know, I'll give you something else to look at here while we're... These are candies that I stole out of our candy packs that we bought for, for giveaways. Uh, we bought great big bags of candy, and I always go through and pull out all of the cherry and vanilla Tootsie Rolls. Um, because they're mine. I share them with my family, but on a limited basis. Uh, I got everything else for the kids, but kids, if you're coming to my house looking for cherry tootsie rolls or vanilla tootsie rolls, it's not going to happen. Sorry. I got cherry other things in there, tootsie pops and everything else, but the tootsie rolls are mine. Okay. Um, I also want to give a list of my of the people I currently have entered into the Golden Car Comics Contest. If you are entered, if you made a video and you don't hear your name, please get a hold of me and I will go looking for your video. Uh, these are the people that I currently have. Joe Hauk, Christian Collins, OMG Chris, Alex the Comic Hoarder, Daydreams and Nightmares, Kyle Waka. That's right, folks. I will send the prize box, great big prize box that it is. I will send it anywhere, even if Kyle wins, who's all the way out there in New Zealand. If you win, buddy, it's coming to you. Pop Dot Comics out in Las Vegas. How you doing, JoJo? Davis Comic Finds. Saw his video. Great video. Uh, Mr. Rigor Mortis. Freddy's 562. Justin Byers. Spectacular Spider Grandpa. Tats Comics. Funko Mama. And Rebel Comics. Larry tried to make a video. Uh, he made a video. The video got made. There, there's no audio after he answers the first question. And I thought he was going to remake that, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll take a look. I think it's only fair if you remake it, Larry. I need to actually hear your answers. <laughs> I mean, there's no wrong answers. Well, except for the bonus question could possibly be a wrong answer. But other than that, you know, uh, I want to hear your answers, man. That's the whole point of the contest, for me to get to know people better. All right, but that's who I have right now as being entered into the Golden Car Comics Contest. Again, it is a huge, huge prize box. Uh, if you want to see what's in the box, uh, go. I've got videos and contest updates. 
uh, out there because my LCS threw some stuff in. It's going to be a big, valuable box. It's going all out to one person. There's no second or third prize, guys. Sorry. It's all going out to one winner. All right. You ready to get onto a haul? I'm ready to get onto a haul. We're already five minutes in. Let's do a haul. I wanted to show you guys some really cool stuff. For starters, and I know this is not comic book related, but for those of you who don't know, I am a DJ, professional full-time DJ with my own company, and uh, I got the coolest thing in the mail the other day, and I wanted to throw it out there because I was really proud of it. I did music for a school, for an elementary school fundraiser the other day, uh, called Hobbs Elementary. Uh, the kids did a jogathon. They wanted music. I provided music, and they sent me a certificate. There you go. Way better than any certificate of authenticity. And they sent me a medal. I mean, how cool is that? So I, I wanted to show that off because it, it just made my day to see that. I mean, they even paid me. I mean, they paid me a really, really discounted rate, but they even paid me to be there, and they still were so grateful that they sent me a certificate and a letter, and they made me a sponsor, and they gave me a medal, and that's just cool stuff. Thank you so much from Hobbs Elementary here in Cheyenne, Wyoming. All right, here, let's move on to some other stuff. Pops. Let's see if I can get this. Or I'm have to put it on top of the... Oh, you know what? We'll do this. We'll move it closer. Whoa! Instant scenery change. We have my Harley Quinn Batman in Pop Store, not the Batgirl. Uh, we have one of these in the prize box, but I just got mine because I had put a deposit on it over at uh, GameStop, and they forgot to call me. I said, I'm seeing these all over town. Let's see if I can go find mine. And they had it. There it was. So that's one. These I picked up for my son. Again, these will probably be Christmas or birthday presents. But I picked up the Hot Topic exclusive Zebra and Bullseye Batman 2-pack. I think that's just really cool. Uh, I remember when Doom 143 first got his, and I was like, oh, that's cool. There's not a Hot Topic anywhere near me. So I was in Fort Collins a while back, and I went to Hot Topic, and they gave me a credit card and everything, and I bought that. I also bought for my son, because he's a huge Batman fan. Spider-Man's his favorite hero, right after that's Batman. But I thought this was really cool. If he doesn't want this one, I'll keep it. But it's Steampunk Batman. <laughs> How cool is that? Hot Topic exclusive. Get out of the glare. Get close up. Steampunk Batman. All right. All right, we're at an eight-minute video. Decision time. Do I show the comics? Yeah, let's show the comics. All right. We've got some uh, mail. Let's start with the stuff I got in the mail. Like this Batman, number one, variant edition from the uh, Beware the Batman cartoon series. I just picked that up from uh, mycomicshop.com. Actually, I had it on my want list to get for my son. And uh, let's get out of the glare there. It's just cool artwork. I just really like that. He's going to really like that. I need to change the bag and board, of course, but that's a good-looking book. And I just got this from Australia. That's right. eBay purchased from Australia. Cardboard. It's not what I wanted to show you, but I'm glad he put it in cardboard because it should be a really, really cool book. Get out the knife, Wah! knife, cardboard, tape. I'm glad when eBay sellers actually, I was really a little concerned. I'm like, all the way from Australia, got sent in an envelope. But at least he put the cardboard on it. Uh, so that should, and it seems to have arrived in good shape. And there it is. Awesomeness. Godzilla, King of the Monsters, number 23, with the Avengers. That's right, the Marvel Godzilla taking on the Avengers. That apparently, It's been a kind of a tough book to find here in the U.S., but gentleman in Australia had it. It does look like it's in really nice shape. Could probably use a cleaning. 
But uh, hey, that's that's cool. Godzilla 23, Avengers, Godzilla, on one book. I love it. All right, what else we got? Halloween Comic Fest. That's what we went to. We have the Doctor Strange book. My Afterlife with Archie, because I collect this series. I love this series, except for the last issue, number 10, was kind of a little disappointing. Hopefully they get better. But I figured it's free as a collection. Uh, John Carpenter's Tales for a Halloween Night. John Carpenter, free comic book. You can't say no. Uh, we have Mickey's Inferno. I don't know why I picked that up. It just kind of caught my attention. This, of course, is for my son. We have uh, Spidey number one. He does have the whole series, but hey, again, Halloween Comic Fest. It's free. It's Spidey. He got it. I actually got this for my girlfriend because she likes Archie comics, uh, the, the funny ones. So we got Archie's Madhouse. Woo! Halloweeny. All right. All right. Also from Halloween Comic Fest, but not free. Well, we bought this during Halloween Comic Fest. This had nothing to do with it. But we've got a book that we're not really collecting. Well, we're not reading. Civil War II. This is issue number six. This is the Retailer Summit uh, exclusive 2016. This is the black and white cover. My son really, really liked that, so he got it. Mostly he got it so I wouldn't have to just drop a little, like, $4 and use my credit card. I wanted to show everybody this, because I thought this was really cool. This is Trump versus Clinton adult coloring book. You look on the cover there, it says, Uncivil War. But the front cover is not what sold it, believe it or not. I mean, I'm not entirely political i think uh, i don't even want to get into what i think about our candidates this year but this front cover is not what sold me the book this the back cover is what sold me the book the incredulous trump and now the hillary and then you've got the burndigo off to the side i mean how could i not buy that that's awesome whoever did this was incredibly incredibly creative who was the this is from uh, Antarctic Press. And I, uh, that's awesomeness. Had to show that, guys. All right. All right, comic call from the last couple of weeks. We're going to fire through these. Again, starting my son's books, we have The Ultimate Spider-Man vs. Sinister Six, number four. Spidey vs. Spidey. I didn't realize that Miles Morales was so much shorter than Peter Parker, but there you go. We have... Spider-Man Deadpool number 10. My son's really enjoying that book. We have Flash number 9 with the cover, of course, tribute to the Flash of Two Worlds cover, which I would really love to own, but I don't. Scooby-Doo Team-Up. My son is really loving these books as well because they are really hitting Justice Leaguers uh, the last couple months. Uh, so there we have uh, Zatanna. And Scooby and Shaggy. That's uh, Scooby-Doo Team-Up number 19. And then we have uh, Dead No More number 1, The Clone Conspiracy. Another bunch of clones. I'm not, again... My son's reading Spider-Man. I'm not, but gotta love those covers. Uh, Clone Conspiracy tie-in, The Amazing Spider-Man number 20. All right, these are mine. Uh, these are my books. Starting with Kiss number one from Dynamite. The demon cover. Kiss number one from Dynamite. The Star Child cover. 
You checking these out, Sean? That's right, Gene Polyus Peter channel. Take a look. Kiss number one. <clears throat> the um, what did they call this dude? It starts out. This was the space. What did they call? Oh, what they? What they? Oh, God. Put in the com. I actually forgot what they called him. Um. I don't know. Space nut. No, it wasn't. Um, you know what? Hold on a second. I can find out. Uh, and, hey, there's no pause here. All right. Never mind. All right. And, of course, Catman. Kiss number one. Catman. Let's see if I can get this more in there. There you go. And since I showed those, I had to show this one, even though I showed it in my Bandbox unboxing. Kiss number one, Bandbox cover, signed by the artist. I wish I had gotten the black and white variant as well. Or I really wish I would have gotten uh, the, uh, the, the special cover signed by Gene Simmons and Paul Stanley. But I didn't. There was only 25 of those, and I didn't get one. All right. Uh... Suicide Squad number five. We have X Files Origins number three. Decent book. Doesn't really stick with the TV show at all. So if you're hoping for that, don't. Um, not really sure why it's a five dollar book. I might be giving that one up soon. Uh, this one I thought was pretty cool. Broken Moon: Legends of the Deep. This kind of ties into my cryptozoology hobby. Because this issue talks about the killer octopus of Oklahoma. That's right, Oklahoma. That's an actual thing, or an actual legend, I should say. There's a lake in Oklahoma where there's supposed to be a killer octopus responsible for a whole bunch of missing people. Uh, check it out. Google it. It's true. We have Injustice number 20. Because year 5 is intruding onto year... It should be going on to year 7 here soon. But uh, there we go. I'm guessing it still has to do with the video game coming out. All right, we have Kong of Skull Island, number four. I've got a lot of books. Yeah, I, I, I took a week off, so these are like, you know, two and a half weeks worth of books. We have the X-Files, uh, number seven. Uh, this is a subscription cover variant. I know it's not as artsy, but... You know, I just like getting the pictures. Okay. Superman, number nine. Escape from Dinosaur Island. So that just looks kind of cool. That almost looks like a King Kong ripoff because there's like a big white gorilla in the background. There's a dinosaur. There's another dinosaur. There's baby Superman. I mean, so that looks that was cool. Almost done. We have Batman, number nine. Kind of like the uh, pink background on the cover. I'm not much of a, I mean, actually, I'm a pink person. I like having pink uh, dress shirts and stuff. I'm, I like bright colors. That looks really good. Notice how popular this color is, like that Harley Quinn number one variant that's this color, and it's like worth two, three hundred bucks already. The craziness of it, but same color. I think everybody just went after that color now. <clears throat> and last but not least, we have Justice League number seven. I like the Justice League. All right, there's that. Did I have anything else? No, I did not. All right, we are at, oh, almost 20 minutes. Um, all right, well, I'm going to say a quick goodbye. Thank you all for tuning in. Again, if you didn't hear your name uh, at the beginning for having an entry in, get a hold of me if you've got one in or just get one in. Uh, contest ends November 4th, 1159, because on my birthday, November 5th, I will be giving away a huge, huge prize box to one lucky subscriber that turned in a video. Thank you for watching, YouTubians. Golden Car Comics, this is John, and I am out of here.